The extraordinary claim from the Kremlin is the latest in a series of denials from Russian military chiefs about their involvement in the attack on the stricken city of Duma. Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Major General Igor Konashenkov said, We have evidence that proves Britain was directly involved in organizing this provocation, Marge Gen Konashenkov said statements. From witnesses at Duma's hospital alleged people with video cameras rushed into the hospital, shouting that its patients were struck with chemical weapons and causing a mass panic. He insisted doctors at the hospital declared none of the patients were hurt by chemicals. British UN Ambassador Karen Pearce rejected the allegations and branded them grotesque. She said, this is grotesque. It is a blatant lie. It is the worst piece of fake news. We've yet seen from the Russian propaganda machine, Getty Syrian children, Theresa May, Igor Konashenkov. We have evidence that proves Britain was directly involved in organizing this provocation. Major General Igor Konashenkov, Marge Gen Konashenkov said Britain had told the White Helmets, who act as first responders in rebel held areas, to fake the suspected chemical attack and added, London put powerful pressure on the civil defense organization. He said the attack was staged on April 7 to coincide with military action by Syrian government forces after the rebel group Jaysh al Islam that long controlled eastern Ghouta carried out shelling of Damascus from April 3 to 6. Russia has repeatedly accused opposition fighters of staging or spreading rumors of chemical attacks, but the involvement of Britain is a new claim. Getty Major General Igor Konashenkov claims Britain was behind the suspected attack Marge Gen Konashenkov said, the White Helmets were told that in a period from April 3 to 6 Jaysh al-Islam militants would conduct a series of massive artillery bombings of Damascus, it would provoke a retaliation operation by Syrian government forces and the White Helmets were to use it to stage a provocation with an alleged use of chemical weapons, Marge Gen Konashenkov claimed Russian Defense Ministry officials had spoken to two Syrian doctors who were on duty in the emergency department of Duma's hospital. Getty children await treatment in a Syrian hospital after a suspected chemical attack. He said the doctors had said none of those taken to hospital during the filming had symptoms of exposure to toxic agents. He said, when the patients were receiving first aid unidentified people burst into the hospital, some were holding video cameras, these people started shouting, fanning, hysteria. They carried a hose and douche stall present with water crying out that all of them had been exposed to poisonous agents. The patients and their relatives yielded to panic and began to pour water on each other. After this scene was caught on video, these unidentified people fled. Getty Britain's UN Ambassador Karen Pierce said the Russian claims were grotesque. The Foreign Office said accusations made by Moscow that Britain directed the attack on Duma were ludicrous. A spokesman said, Russia has wielded its UNSC veto six times since February 2017 to shield the Assad regime from scrutiny for its use of chemical weapons. These accusations from Moscow are just the latest in a number of ludicrous allegations from Russia, who have also said that no attack ever happened. This simply shows their desperation to pin the blame on anyone but their client, the Assad regime, the chemical Weapons attack in Duma last Saturday was a shocking and barbaric act that cost up to 75 lives, including young children. GETTY, a survivor of the alleged gas attack, is treated in hospital. Ms. Pierce said Russia's comments were a gross distortion of what is happening on the ground. She was speaking at the UN Security Council after Moscow's ambassador to the UN, Vasily Nebenzia, accused Britain of backing a Western agenda to our Syrian leader. Bashar al-Assad and keep Russia in its place. He said, you only have a sole interest to oust the Syrian government and more broadly to contain the Russian Federation. This is clearly seen as a conspiracy theory. He continued, each time you unbasely blame the Russian Federation, we have never denied that you have made a certain contribution to this common objective. Some of the terrorists that have been sheltered by you are too only advance. Your geopolitical priorities, get a Russian defense chiefs claim Britain staged and directed the chemical weapons attack Mr. Nebenzia insisted Russia only. Objective was bringing peace to the region. He said, my country is the only party to be bringing peace. More than two, five thousand residential places saw peace brought to them because of our efforts. How many towns and cities have you introduced peace to? 
How many towns have you brought a ceasefire to? Mr. Nebenzia said. Russia and its negotiating efforts brought a ceasefire to eastern Ghouta with full conditions of allowing people to evacuate the area, he said, the footage of this exists but your media outlets are not showing it.